What's up guys, it's Cat Thrash Productions 72 back on the secondary channel, or as we call it here, the inactive channel, because let's just be honest, I'm not really active on here that much. But today we're doing a thing called making space. So yeah, the shit all thing, everything is different and whatnot. But we're doing a thing called making space. Let's get into it. So lately I've been going around my shelves and looking at sets and stuff that I feel I would rather have, you know, not that I don't want to display them, but it's like there's better sets to have on display and it gives me more room to work with my display. If it's not so bagged up, you know, so, you know, so um, chopped up. Plus I've bought a lot of new sets recently, including the gunship, the Death Star, Jabba's Palace, and the home one. So, as you can imagine, it means I try to find more space and whatnot. And I'm currently a few days in, I know I go by and challenge, so four days in, I have 87 days left. And I thought I'd show you guys some of the sets that we've been bagging up. And I think in this video, there's a few more that I want to go through and bag up. So, let's get into this. That's over here. So let's get into what sets we have here. Let's see, we have the 2017 Watch Land Spinner, the 2016 um, Joy Escape, I think the 2019 Speed Champions Porsche 911. These are the feet from the sand crawler. This is more sand crawler, 2018 one, to be exact. This is a Ninjago set, it's the only one that's not completely dismantled. Um, I just did this for quick class the other day because it kept falling apart. <laughs> This is the rest of the sand crawler. This is pretty much more for just like some of its inner workings, but yeah, it has the word 75021 because this is the bag my gunship came in, so we used it. But yeah, this is pretty much the sand crawler. Here we have a mini, mini set that's basically just got broken parts that I need to replace. It's the 2008 V19 Torn mini version. If I had the big version, it would not be bagged up. The set that kind of I started off doing this with, it's this, it's the 2015 Death Star Final Duel set, which I bagged up because I got the Death Star earlier this year, so yeah, but I'm going to put that one in. There's another set, it's just, I like it, but I didn't really fit into it with my display, it's the 2018 um, Hansel with one speeder, so yeah. And here is the 2017 um, Bounty Hunter speeder bike from the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack. And this is just a whole bunch of mini builds from Christmas actually. Like the Christmas advent calendar sets. Like, I don't really do anything with the mini builds, so they're all ended up in here. I've still got some space left in this box, and yeah, this video is not done obviously, but this is this episode is called Storing My Label, and I'll try to do one of these every so often, although we both know I'm not very good at doing these, and basically the point is I'm going to be putting a few things here and there away in storage, because here's why. These shelves are quite clearly very full, and it's like, it's gotten to the point where I can only really display my favourite sets. You know, I, I can I could display everything, but it would be very packed. It'd be very full. Um, as a collector, I want to have the best looking display I can. So, basically, what I'm going to be doing over the next little while, um, next few months, and I'm also preparing for new sets and just picking out what I like to have on display and what I don't. Um. So yeah, let's, in this episode, my goal is at least one every episode to take one new set, bag it up, so that we can have room for some other stuff. So let's get. Today's set. Before we start off with something small here, it's basically it's like a vehicle. It's, it's the best way to describe it. This goes with the sand crawler, so I'm also bagging it up. 
Um, this is from the Tatooine Battle Pack from 2018. It's okay, but it's like I'd rather have the more displayable stuff out on the shelves. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting this one, taking it apart, bagging it up, and it can join those sets. Let's uh, take it apart. Now, right then, the sets in parts. So the pro call is we get one of these little bags here, we put it in, and then once it's in, I'm going to have a few things to say. So you're probably thinking, wait, that wasn't such a big set, why would you bag it up? It's not like it was taking a lot of space. Yeah, here's the thing though, it's like, I only want to keep out my favourite, most displayable sets. These sets that you see here, and in that box, it's not that I don't like them, it's not that I'm going to sell them, it's not that I'll never build them again. It's more so a case that I kind of have to pick and choose at this point, what I do and don't keep out. And it's it's one of those things that just I would rather put it away, and sometimes I might pull these sets back out and rebuild them and whatnot, but... Uh, at this point, I'm just not really sure which ones I do and don't, and this is one of the ones I managed to confirm with myself that, hey, I don't want to keep out. Alright, so let's put it in. Put the light on. So, yeah, these heads will eventually be opened up and they'll all be built again, but at this point, with space, I'm gonna wait till I have my own place to probably open up most of these books. Spend a good few years away in storage, but it's a necessary thing. And at some point, I plan to buy another one of these IKEA tubs to put on top. And you know, I'm only gonna do it with two of them, and it's gonna be like a thing because eventually I'm gonna buy some of the new sets coming out, and I want to make space. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know when the next episode will be. I'm probably just gonna do one per set per episode. It's just. Although it'll be a limited series, uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it'll be like every so often there'll be a new one. So, thanks for watching, see you next time.